My name is Staff Sergeant Tim Brown, and I am a platoon sergeant with 3rd Platoon Alpha Company 125. We're here conducting forest light with our Japanese counterparts. It's been great. Uh, there's been a lot of lessons learned watching how they do things. I'm sure that they are learning things from us as well about how they handle, uh, especially in this particular case with the CMP range, how they conduct the range, and then also how we conduct the range as well. So not just these ranges in particular, but our mission overall here during Forest Light is to develop the interoperability between us and our uh, Japanese counterparts, our allies. The CMP range actually stands for the Combat Marksmanship Program, which is tables one through six. Uh, we're doing tables five and six here. So specifically what we're trying to do is we're showing them, uh, because they perceive us as every Marine rifleman, expert marksman, uh, they wanted to learn something from us. So we developed a course of fire uh, using tables five and six, and we told them what it was going to be. They started working on it, rehearsing it, practicing it. Um, and then we came out and executed our course of fire uh, while they also had been con conducting their course of fire. It was a great opportunity to learn from other people, um, but ultimately the greatest part about being in Japan is the food. Getting out into the towns and seeing the culture, experiencing Japan um, here in the time and place has been excellent. It's just great seeing that no matter what country you're in, there's many things that just translate across the board. Um, they're, not, they're not robots, just like we aren't robots, to see um, the humanity of it, right? So to see that other people, no matter what country they're from or whatever, they can still get together and laugh about a common thing, um, that they can share a drink together. Um, that they have funny stories just like we would have funny stories. It's, it's just, uh, it's a broadening experience and it's, uh, that's probably my favorite part about all of it. So it's a real challenge. I've been doing this for 16 years. I'll finish my 17th year in April. Uh, I've mobilized several times, been to Iraq, been to Afghanistan, coming here to Japan um, to stop everything that you have going on at home and to flip on into a full switch gear of being a Marine 24 seven again. It's very difficult in the beginning, but after probably two, three weeks, there is pretty much no difference between the active duty forces and the reserve forces. Now there's, there's skill set differences. There's things that we need to work on harder to get our skill sets up, to catch up to the active duty readiness levels of infantrymen. But after that, it's, it's, there's no difference after that. And it's, there's a challenge of living two lives, just like active duty members would leave their spouses and their kids back at home. We still face the same challenges that they do. It's just, it's a lot different. We're not used to that. Our families aren't acclimated to that. They're not accustomed to that sort of mentality of just dropping everything and 50% of their, you know, their, their life just walked away and is doing something in another country while they're back at home dealing with everything else. So U.S. Marines get a lot out of training with the Japanese. It's, a, <clears throat> it's like I said earlier, it's a, it's a broadening experience. To do the same thing the way the Marine Corps does it every single day is good and it's helpful and to have those rehearsals and to, to improve your skills by focusing on the same thing over and over again is, is useful and it's, it's helpful. But to broaden your horizons by training with another unit, another country, another military altogether, um, seeing how they do things and comparing them to how we do things and then taking those after actions back to our units and to, to the Marine Corps as a whole, it stands to do something so much greater than just staying in the same units and doing the same things the same ways all the time. Um, it's a very broadening experience being here.